you're hitting, when, you, when you're on the plate, if you're gonna look for power, you gotta use this. Yeah. You know, that way, this, this is the base for everything. Now in his second season as coach for the Mets' single-A affiliate, the Brooklyn Cyclones, Edgardo Alfonso spends his time teaching the youngest members of the organization the lessons he learned during his 12-year playing career, eight of which were with the Mets. Got it good. Alfonso deep and goodbye, home run! Uh, I wasn't home. I worked with my kid and watch the games and, and see and go to the field, you know, see the field, uh, see the fans over there, uh, sign an autograph and, 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 and you know, that was, that was like a click in my, uh, in my head again. So I, I, I talked to my wife and I told her about, you know, how about going, to, um, going back to uh, the mess organization as a, as a coach or, or, or a special coach, whatever. So she, she was happy and, and she know that I want, I want to do it. We talked, I talked to the Mets and, and then finally they gave me opportunity and, and so far uh, uh, I've been enjoying it. And the 0-2 pitch, in the air, towards the gap, Hubbard over, he can't get it. Hundley around second, Hundley on his way to third, he's being waved home, the Mets are going to win, Mets win, Mets win. While his career stats speak for themselves, the youngest members of the Cyclones are sometimes unaware of Fonzie's success. When that happens, the former All-Star likes to give them a little research assignment. When they don't know me, I say, hey, can you uh, go into the computer and Google up my name and now you talk? <laughs> no, no, just, just, just kidding. No, that's great because, because when, they, when they, they know who I am, uh, they get more motivated to come to me. I say, I say yeah, that's, that's, that's the way it is. That's the way you should play. I know it's not going to happen. I know you're not going to do it uh, the way I told you, but, but at least have an idea because in the future it's going to happen. Catch it. Instead of coming all the way up, I want you to stay down. Catch it. Boom. Bring it up. Just a little bit. Little, little, just a little bit down, you know, like, like that, instead of standing straight up because you, you, when you catch the ball, you come all the way up. Now, that's, that's, how, you, that's how you're going to throw. You got, nothing, you got nothing behind you. This year, I get him, I get him more involved in the game because I, I, I coach in third base, and and it's it's a new uh, new experience for me. You know, I tell you what, it's not easy being coach. I, I thought it was easy, but now I, all my respect to the coaching uh, staff and every team because uh, as a player, you see what uh, what the guys doing. I mean, and now that the, you're on this side, it's not easy because you're gonna see the you're gonna see everything that you saw as a player for for different po point of view now. Hey, Ron, let's go. Maybe one of these days I'll be becoming a manager, but not, not, not now. So I, I would like to learn a little more to, uh, to, um, to get that uh, responsibility, you know, as, as, a, as a manager or coach.